This is Best Practices. I'm Laura Spall from Best. Today, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is a little controversial in uh, its use as a packing material, but in the fine art handling profession, the general rule is bubbles out. That means the actual bubbles are facing away from the delicate object that you're shipping. If you have that nice flat surface against the artwork, you're less likely to get impressions, little circles pressed against the surface of an object in shipping. Um, and that, that outside chamber of air does a good job of protecting the object and whatever might come against it. So, if you're shipping a delicate surface, a piece of art, make sure bubbles are out. Today, we're gonna to talk about some pro tips for soft packing. Soft packing is a way of packing fine art and delicate objects that usually involve things like uh, rolled plastic, ethophone, bubble wrap, and cardboard. If you are shipping out uh, gifts or art to friends and family this season, you're going to want to know how to soft pack it properly so it can make its way to its destination safely. Um, so we're gonna start with this fabulous thrift shop painting um, and talk about how I will pack it up. So the first thing is that this is an exposed canvas surface and I want to make sure I protect that before I wrap it up in anything else. So there's a number of ways you can do this. You can um, really go over the top and wrap the whole thing, although I will say there's no over the top in keeping an artwork safe in transit. Um, I'm going to put this layer of ethophone over the surface before I wrap my piece in bubble wrap. So that's a great tip right there. Uh, anything that's in a frame or an open canvas over the surface of that piece, even if it's glass or even if it's just plexiglass, it's a really good idea to put something to protect that face of a painting, drawing, a piece of artwork. Then I'm going to take my bubble wrap. And here's my second tip. When you can, you don't want to put any kind of adhesive will ever in touch with the actual surface of an object, but you definitely want it to leave this face as is. So I'm not putting pressure when I'm applying tape to the surface. So the seam of anything, I'm gonna put on the back side. I'm gonna put a, a seam of tape here so that I'm not pushing against that surface unnecessarily. Always remember, when you are sending a delicate object, when you might be shipping a gift to friends and family, or if you're an artist and you're sending your art out into the world, you're going to want to use a courtesy tab. Let's talk about my favorite thing. A courtesy tab is simply folding down the edge of a piece of tape so that there is a tab to pull on to easily open and safely open a delicate object. So I'm gonna leave this little tab here on the back of my soft pack frame. So if you're sending out your own artwork or a gift to someone else that might be delicate, might be a framed object or a painting, we already know that we're gonna have our bubbles facing out so that we don't harm the surface of our piece. And we know that we're going to take along the back side of an object so we don't put any unnecessary pressure against the face that might be a sensitive canvas face. And now we're going to talk about how we package it to ship it out the door. One of the best things to do in soft packing is to really think about chambers and layers. So I have a piece of ethophone protecting the surface of my painting. I have that wrapped in bubble wrap. Then I might put that in a box with padding around it, extra bubble wrap pushed in, something to protect the corners, a cardboard wrapped around the corners. Then I might put that in another box with more padding around it. And if that is packed nice and tight, those dual chambers are really gonna protect my object in transit. Let's talk about some pro tips for packing art objects. So, one of the things I've gone over before is how we use bubble wrap. Bubbles facing out. If we're packing and wrapping an object, we'll always put the seam on the back side of an artwork so that we don't put unnecessary pressure on its face. 
And if we're going to send it, um, we're going to put it in hopefully two chambers, two layers of packing to really protect it and keep it safe. But also, if we're soft packing, we want to think about how we can reuse materials. So if you don't already save boxes that you receive from things you've ordered, from shipments from friends and family, from grocery shopping, there's so many great materials you can reuse so you don't have to go out and buy new boxes and waste materials. So a lot of times for packing a framed object, one of the things we can do is take a simple square of cardboard and cut it so that we can make it into a corner. And there's a lot of really great professional ways to make corners to protect things, but a really simple thing to do is just take any piece of cardboard, wrap it around the corner, and then tape it to the outside packaging of an object. So I could do that directly on this piece, and I could save its corners from being dented and dinged in shipping.